so hi guys so as in previous video we talked uh, about exploring the data set about transfer learning with yamlet notebook in this video we would start with the filtering the data part so uh, as i to told you that this data set contains a lot of classes believe me a lot and uh, as you can see uh, these are the animal sounds it contains the natural soundscapes and water sounds the human non speech sound the interior I guess it contains lot of classes. Around they have already told you that they have totally 50 semantical classes with five major categories, and around 40 examples per classes. This is the ECG ESC 50 data set. So yeah, if you want, you can go and look about look that. It has been used in a lot of research papers. So, which sounds do you want to use? I would leave that on you. I have used these four: dog, cat, wind, and fireworks. I have used these four classes. If you want, you can add anything here. What you need to simply do here, simply go here and uh, by embedding a comma, you just write the class name and map that class to an ID. I have used zero for dog, one for cat, two for wind, and th three for firework. You can do that same thing here and change the target to be in specific range that is already you have done here. So just simply, I would run this and uh, yeah. So I would just go down to have a look here. I would just make it to a uh, yeah. Uh, you the, you can look at the file name fold and the target that is zero three three. You can see look at that dog uh, like that. If this just the head, if I would want, I can just take a look at twenty. If I can see, I'm not sure. Yeah, here it is. So you can look at that the whole part. Uh, for cat it is one, wind it is two. Firebox is three, dog is zero, and uh, this this is the example which has been given to us, and the ECS ten the source file that take that has been taken the category and this is the file file name. So once we are done with that, I would simply go down here and load and retrieve the embeddings. So here you will apply the uh, the load wave sixteen k mono and prepare the wave data. Guys, we have done the same thing in previous video, so I don't think we need to discuss that once again. I would just do that very fast. Uh, we have done files name, the targets, and the folds. Uh, we have defined that. Uh, yeah, these three are the new part. And the main DS data structure that we are defining is the TF data set that we are taking from the tensor slices. And I would just run this. This is the function in which we are defining the load wave for map. For that, we are using three uh, three things. That is file name, label, and fold. We are taking them from here and returning the uh, load wave K16. So I would just run this, and yeah, we are done with that. So down here, we apply the embedding extraction model to a web data and extract embedding wave data label fold and TF dot repeat label everything. This is done here. So I would just run this spectrogram we are using as usual in the previous video. Now we would split the data. You are, we will use the fold column to split the data into training, validation, and test sets as usual. And uh, as we looked at, ECS 50 is arranged into five uniformly across validation folds. You know, these are the five parts. So uh, such that the clips from the same original source are always in the same fold. So you can just look at that here. You know, just go and. Uh, i would just link the github repository in the description section you can go and just look that so the cached ds is here the train ds the validation data set the test data set now remove the fold columns now that's not needed anymore so we would remove them and then we would map them accordingly and just shuffle and batch everything is done we have already learned so nothing new is happening here now we will create a model we will create a very simple model just of a one hidden layer and two outputs to recognize cats and dogs actually here i would rather say cats dogs and uh, winds and actually fireworks from the sound so yeah these are the parts we are using i would just simply run this and yeah this is the model we are using so it's a really simple model and uh, we would just compile it And Adam is the optimizer vision metric accuracy. We would just model dot fit 20 epochs we are using, so it's going to run. And uh, the validation data structure is validation training same and callbacks. Yeah, we are calling if it's greater than 90, definitely we will stop there because we don't want overfitting to, to happen here. And uh, yeah, you can see the model getting trained. And yeah, it trained on 20 epochs and due to the I guess. 
validation accuracy or uh, validation loss it stopped at that 10 only and uh, yeah once we we can see the loss and the accuracy we have done got so we have got around 92 percent accuracy which is pretty good and 22 is the loss score so yeah after that we would try the embedding on the previous test so we would just use that cat sound and just see uh, if this is uh, working on that so let's see the the main sound is cat it was really easy for the model report 92 percent rate i don't think that was a problem for it using that cat sound that was too clear for it i guess let's save the model that can directly take a wave file as an input instead of that converted file and let's test it with a yamnet file only so we will uh, so you know say, save that this particular model so your model works uh, to give it the embeddings as input so we will use the audio data structure obviously in the real world so we will combine the yamnet model with our model into a single model that can export for other applications so we would use that tensorflow serving part i would just run this the reduce mean layer part and then save the model path here and definitely and directly i would just uh, do all the things that are using tensorflow serve i have talked about in tensorflow extension to save that model what we are doing here we are just saving our model into a particular format so that it can directly take uh, wave inputs as the uh, audio inputs as the part so yeah it's getting saved here and once it is saved we would just look at the architecture of the model that is being saved uh, yeah it is being done serving model dot saved the model has been saved here and if you want you can even look at that here yeah this is the model i guess that would be saved so i would just run this you can look at the whole part the audio layer input layer then yamnet keras layer my model and then the classifier so it's really good we are using the power of both of them now we would reload the model, say, load the saved model to verify that it works as expected and uh, and fi for final test let's give it some more sound data actually we are giving that only cat one only here the main sound is cat it was really simple i would have gone mad if would if would had protected predicted it bad and let, let's go here now we will do some more testing so the model is ready let's compare it on the yamnet on the on the test data set so we are taking one random file from here uh, i am just taking pd dot sample for one and the five fifth one is exterior inward rises or animals i guess i don't exactly know how these are arranged but yeah let's take the fifth fold and let's uh, do that only so yeah i would just run this this we are using this test uh, test file and if you want you can just hear this sound this uh, sound here and just see that which sound this particular model is uh, this sound is and then check the score of the and output we would run on both the yamnet part and my uh, the model which we have trained so i am just uh, running this so the main sound is domestic animals by yamnet uh, by pets it's 97% accuracy and r was dog 99% uh, accuracy so yeah see you need to look at that it's a very high chance that the uh, sound which has been taken was not recognized by my model because it has been trained on really really low data sets so you need to think on that but the yamnet was trained on a lot of sets so that you can't expect that it matches the same accuracy it told you domestic animals pets because it has been trained on a lot of data sets and plus the part is that we have only trained on dog and cat so this is the thing so let's take something uh, different this time let's do two and let's do here four uh, let's three okay I'm not sure will this work okay 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 uh, my bad so we would just run this again and yeah once it's done that let's look at the sound we are going to get now i would just run this and yeah so the main sound is animal and the means uh, the according to our model is dog so it was very obvious because i've been training the model on only four data sets so yeah it's quite funny that our model has performed here better because yamnet has been trained a lot of data sets i guess more than 30 40 gb of data set must be there but our main sound is only dog because we have that trained on only few images of the dog cat fireworks and uh, that uh, wind the spectrogram on which we have trained but the yamnet hasn't been trained like that 
plus if we compare that on a very big data set or on images which slightly contain the image of a dog i guess yamnet would definitely perform better there but as we have combined the score of both of them uh, as i told you that our model is not directly working with that that is the reason it is performing also better it is taking audio input from layer then yamnet and then my model so it basically it is taking that power from yamnet also so that is the reason it is performing that good so yeah that is it so that is it for the video i would just link both give you the link of both the notebooks and the uh, github repository to the ecg esc50 data and you can just go and look at it and just play with the notebook and just i want you to test it on other classes also instead of dog and cat you can use other classes also i would recommend you using in some environment sounds and just give me the feedback you got from this particular uh, notebook and what you learned from it so that is it for the video thank you and have a nice day